don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Digimon Adventure 2020, episode 34. So last time, we got to finally defeat Skull Knight Mon. Um, but more importantly, Hikari, who had been following the voice, and that's why she went with him in the first place, finally united with Gatomon. Um, and again, as I said last time, I'm still going to call her Gatomon. I'm not going to say Teomon. The subtitles might say Teomon, but I'm still saying Gatomon. <laughs> I prefer it. It sounds much better, honestly. Um, however, I, I was wondering last time about how this is going to affect things, like how different it's truly going to be, because in the original series, Gatomon had, had the connection working for Myotismon before truly becoming a good guy. So, we've had no real hints that Myotismon is going to appear. It's possible still. But, this would be one hell of a trap for the Chosen Ones if he did at this point, and if Gadamon was working for him. We'll have to see, because I have no idea. I have no clue where this is going to go. I have no clue what's going to happen next. We're just going to kind of have to see. So, that being said, uh, we're going to get into this and hope for the best and see what goes down this time, like what enemies they have to face, because they, they pretty much always do. Um, so, let's get on with it. <laughs> When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and it fades back in, <clears throat> excuse me, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one one now. So, this was kind of an intermittent episode. I probably used the wrong word there or something. I don't know. Um, just kind of like a episode to just, you know, build upon Hikari and Gatoman's connection rather than progress the story in any hugely meaningful way. Not really like filler not, not really anything like that, just more, like, unimportant. It, it still feels like it's part of the story, and feels, because they're on their way, but it feels very much like a pit stop in everything, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so, just continuing on their journey and everything, they end up going undersea, where Commandoman ends up bringing them to this undersea village of sorts of formerly land-dwelling Digimon who have evolved to adapt to the sea. Um, it, it, the village is led by Marine Anjaman, um, a mega level, despite its size and appearance, a mega level, extremely powerful Digimon. Um, but in the midst of everything, the city, uh, the city, village, whatever you want to call it, is attacked by Al Anno Calamarimon, something like that? Anno Calamarimon? I don't know. <laughs> it was something like that. Um, basically this giant-ass lobster. Um, and it was attacking everyone, and Marine Angemon wasn't even able to fight because she had to keep everything going with the, with the city and all. So it was up to the heroes. And they fought, and in the end they were doing well, but not well enough. So when Gatamon and Hikari kind of deepened their bond, and 
realized, well, Gatamon realized more, that it was more of a destiny thing than a duty kind of situation. Um, they were able to strengthen their bond enough to where Hikari got, finally got her Digivice, because that didn't actually happen when she got Gatomon last episode. Um, and they defeated Anokalomarimon, or again, whatever its name was, um, and continued on their way. So it felt very much like a pit stop episode, like this was like just a little random thing just to explain Gatomon and Hikari's connection and their growing bond which yeah again which is why i say it's not filler because it is important it, it, it it's a big deal for the series the bond between the chosen ones and their digimon partners is extremely important um but at the same time like it, it, again it did outside of that it didn't really further the plot in any way it, it was just kind of a pit stop in the middle of here. Um, we we didn't really learn anything we didn't know either. Like, you know, they talked about Millennium Mon. Um, like, the only thing that really we didn't know about was this new continent or area or whatever, uh, Faga, which is um, apparently where the biggest shard of Millennium Mon resides. Um, so it's probably where those brain guys were. Uh, I assume that's the biggest shard, uh, where the brain Digimon were, uh, kind of, like, guiding things. <laughs> um, so that's our next destination. I assume that's on the Eternal Continent, though. I, I don't, I don't believe that's probably its own continent. It's probably on the Eternal Continent, because I don't think we're going to get another one at this point. I, I just, I for some reason don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the destination right now. But the group is still mostly split up. And it's like, yeah, they're checking in with uh, Izzy to see what's kind of going on in the human world. But they haven't really been checking in enough with everyone else. It's like they briefly just made sure they weren't dead, and that's about it. And it's... A little bothersome because it's like we want to know what they're doing we want to know how they're doing and how they're handling all these situations that we saw them in Mimi Joe um, uh, why is his name escaping me TK's brother Matt that's it Matt. <laughs> I don't know why his name escaped me for saying there um, but, I, but we want to see how all of them are doing. Like, what they're up to. Uh, the Digimon battles they're getting into. Um, I, I really genuinely want to see that. And on top of that, it's like, they're split up. And we need to get, like, we need to have that entire situation um, kind of, like, brought back. Because there's so much information that they just don't know about right now. When you think about it. They don't know about Hikari being rescued. They don't know about um, Gatomon at all. There's more information that they learned about Millennium Mon that they don't know about. And it's like, they could possibly tell them over the Digivices, but they haven't been. So they're still, and I don't even think Izzy really knows what's fully going on. They're just checking in with him about the human world stuff. So it's like, there's so much information here that these characters have not yet learned, and they're just kind of being pushed to the wayside. We're focusing so much on, at the moment, um, Tai, Hikari, TK, and Sora. It's just these four. And it's like, I, I thought it was going to be more consistently getting back the other members. Like, we were going to have, like, okay, we start with just Tai, and then he meets up with Sora, then he met up with TK, then... Uh, they rescued Hikari, and it's like, I thought they were going to keep, like, getting members and stuff, and maybe that's still going to happen. Maybe they're going to find, like, Mimi next, or Joe, or Matt, or whatever. Um, but we don't really have any proof of that. It's just, it, it just feels like this is being dragged out. And it's, like, the one thing I'm, again, still just really, I don't want to say irritated, but 
bothered by in this series um with the pacing mainly um it's like the one thing with the pacing that i'm bothered by because normally the pacing is fine and i i like it in, in this series i like that it's a little more slow at points and a little faster at others but at this at this point it's like with this specific thing it just feels really off simply because we're not seeing enough of what they're doing if we were seeing more of what the others were doing during this time then i would be fine with it because at least we'd be getting context but it, it's basically just ignoring their characters for a good portion of time like occasionally they'll show a little like what 10 seconds of them and kind of use it as a background gag almost uh to like say like oh yeah joe's fine but he's being lifted into the air by blossom on and it's like okay what does this actually accomplish showing this is it is it them trying to tell us like yeah we haven't actually forgot about them because it still feels like you almost have just by just by ignoring like doing anything actual with them and just relegating them to these background gags they they feel less important and that's not a good thing um the original digimon adventure made sure that all of the digidestin felt important like all of them had their role all of them had like a valid role to play in the entire fight against the evil digimon and everything none of them felt useless none of them felt ignored but in this series it it it, it, it at this moment it is like previously they had had they had didn't blah, blah, blah. they had done very well with it and i wasn't feeling this way but it's it's the way they're handling it currently and, and maybe it'll be resolved and I'm hoping it will, but it is, it is bothering me a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's not too much to actually discuss with this episode itself. Because it's like the events of this episode, again, were largely unimportant um, outside of the Gatomon and Hikari bond, which there's just not much to actually discuss. <laughs> um... But overall, it's like, I did enjoy the episode. It's just, I'm really hoping that we get back to the others soon. Because they just, it just feels like they're being minimized compared to the four we are following at the moment. It's just, it's been too long and they haven't done enough to make these others feel important. Which is really wild to think that even Matt's one of them that they're doing this right now with. Because Matt's is usually one of the most important. Especially considering like this series has Omnimon already in it. Um, and Matt's is kind of needed for that. Um, so it's like... It, it's just insane to think that even he's kind of being pushed to the wayside. And again, that probably will change. I, I very much assume it will. That we'll get everyone back and eventually like everything will start to change and everyone will start to feel important again. But for now, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I, I noted in the reaction as well so, uh, the interesting Digivolution choice they did with Patamon. Um, having him go to Pegasmon more often, and Angemon seems to be much more rare, which is a really interesting choice, all things considered. Because as I said in the reaction, Pegasmon was originally a Digi-Egg to Digivolution, uh, so it's like more of a rare thing, more of a unique thing. But in this one, they made Angemon, the normal Digivolution for Patamon, more of the rare thing. And Pegasmon isn't even brought about by a Digi-Egg in this one, so it's like a lot of changes, a lot of different ideas here. Not necessarily bad, just different. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that we get back to the others soon, or at least have like an episode that's entirely dedicated to what they've been doing. Though you'd probably need two episodes to cover all of them. 
um, that just one or two episodes entirely dedicated to their adventures uh, over the course of this however long it's actually been. I don't think we know, I don't think we have an actual time frame for any of this. <laughs> uh, but you know. Um, so we're going to have to see how this goes. Uh, it definitely just has already diverged heavily from the original. Um, but there's still some pl some things I'm hoping to see going forward. So we'll see. Um, there's 66 episodes total. And we're only, at, this was only episode 34. So we got a long way to go still. We're only basically halfway through. Um, so there's still going to be plenty to go. There's still going to be probably an entire another villain before we even get to Millennium on. Um, at least one. And I'm not just talking about the Monster of the Week villains. <laughs> I'm talking about an actual villain. Uh, which could still be my Otis Mon, but at this point I'm thinking possibly not. Either way, we'll find out. I mean, we'll see. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, tell me in the comments below what you thought of this episode of Digimon Adventure 2020, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.